on this um, platform. For those that don't know, um, call it my journey journal. And the sense of um, it is to tell my story. My story, that's how you see in brackets, uh, different my story. The essence is to hear stories for me. Like I always say, I'm not ashamed to to say this about one of my fathers, one of the apostles of our time, and that's the person of our apostle uh, Ezekiah. He's one of the one of the man. I respect so much because of his impact in my life because I've met him once or twice like that when I was going to hell on that and then they told me one or two stories about him and then that one gave me courage and that's why um, this platform is created to hear stories from me personal stories to hear personal stories from to see, hear me share stories from other people um, people that have been a uh, benefit to me, that have been a blessing to me. People that um, that their life, they mentored me. Sometimes I may even post just their videos even without me talking. Um, and that's what that's what this platform is all about. You know, I have I've been I won't say I've been victim of. Um, um, what will I, how will I call it? I have a lot of problems, I have a lot of challenges, I have a lot of a lot because there was nobody that's actually there to tell me what to do. Then and then when I going up growing up in the ministry, all we had was just our Bible. And the ones that we are supposed to mentor or father us are the ones are those they also don't know it. So today I want to just quickly tell us one or two things about marriage. Because I I foresee I foresee that many marriage will end. It is not a cause, it's not a statement. Because I see that many are jumping into marriage. Many are jumping into a relationship that you have to be clear about. You know, sometimes people, you know, some ladies abuse me and say I do a call, I do a call, and all those things like that. Because I have a, a bit of understanding about what relationships all about, about what marriage is all about. Even as it relationship therapist that I am, a coach that I am when it comes to relationship. So let me put this book. Um I have an authority when it comes to that. I've seen these days uh, where young people, singles, ladies, single gents, you know, they want to get married and they are confused about who to marry. First and foremost, I want to beg you. I want to. Uh, I would like to appeal to as many that will listen or that's listening to this uh, video, watching this video. Please do subscribe to our channel. The essence of the channel is also bring out this platform so you can watch it. And then, ordinarily, this platform is supposed to be for YouTube, but you cannot do video on YouTube un until we have 1,000 subscribers. And um, so we need you to like, help us share, help us subscribe to our YouTube channel. So let me start by saying this. It's not everybody that's marriageable. Everybody is not marriageable. Not every man you see, not every guy you see out there, you can marry. All right, let's not forget also, um, there's a book. There's an uh, e-book that I have. Um, it's called before you say I do. In actual fact, in on the twenty sixth of this month, there's a call, there's a class called before I say, before I say, uh, before I say I do. The class is for thirty thousand. I will started uh, telling people about the information. If you are interested, just chat me up. Or that my numbers on uh, on Facebook. Just chat me up. Send a message to me. I will respond to you. So basically, it's not everybody that is married. Jerry. It's not everybody that say ah, you say yes to. And these days, everybody's just in a hurry. 
not consider the fact that ah, this guy is not good for me or this guy or this girl ah, is not good for me everybody love the totally then that they, they forget um it's not everybody that comes to you to propose to or say yes to as a child of god get married to an i'm sure you know the scripture that says that i would not have uh, an equally yoke with that you should not as a child of god don't give yourself problem tomorrow don't say because you are looking partner um you understand your faith it is important for you to recognize that don't go for somebody that does not recognize your faith does not believe in a god you serve does not there is no correlation between you is 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 or i believe so for me don't don't settle for unbeliever number two uh number two funny enough uh, on my list here, yeah, I have what I call Mr. Know All. You know, if if you want to settle for somebody, you should consider the fact that this person, you should be able to relate with the person. It's not the person, he or she may not be the, uh, the, the, the kind of person that says what he says or what she says is final. And especially when you know that this person is heading for the rock. So, if you are accepting any proposal from anybody, for saying yes to anybody, if you are going for anybody, you must consider the fact that this person must not be Mr. or Mrs. Know All. In, in those days, I don't know what they call it these days, in those days we call it uh, ITK, I too know. They two Basabi, I know Basabi, we know the queue. And when I said, an unbeliever, don't settle for an unbeliever as a child of God. Don't settle for somebody who knows it all. Number three mm. this one is important because i i remember um <laughs> i had to let go of this lady why she would say she's expressing herself and i don't know how can you express yourself to somebody say you love by just talking anyhow she shouts and say a lot of things and I think that like, come, this is not good. I'm a guy, you can't be just open your mouth and abuse it. So if you want to marry somebody, it's not somebody that should demean in you. Somebody that will read you, read, doesn't see if, any, any, any value in you, ridicules you, abuse you for every opportunity. You are too short, you are too low, you are a wretched, you are a wretched person. You no, know, abuse you, not every opportunity or she has, must ab ab you know, he or she must abuse you. Don't forget, for those who are, who are listening, who are watching me, or will watch later, I'm talking about those you should never marry. As a child of God said, number one, you shouldn't marry an unbeliever. Don't don't give yourself, don't put yourself uh, for unnecessary trouble tomorrow in the future. Don't even dare fall in love. Don't even accept any proposal. Number two, don't settle for uh, Mr. I know or Mrs. I know, Miss I, I know I know all. Number three, don't settle for an abuser. One thing people, 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 um, for love. Marriage does not help your, your character. Marriage boosts, boosts your character. Marriage increases your character. So, somebody who's an abuser, if he's abusing you now, mark my words, he will, he will do much more later. Number four. The addict, <laughs> you know, we are, number one understand that everybody is addicted to something, everybody is addicted to something. For instance, I I love music a lot. I'm sure if you hear underground, you, you hear me play, play some. I lo love music a lot, but yeah, your addiction should not be to a state whereby it will, be, it will affect you, cannot handle it, you cannot control it. Some are addic addicted. So a lot of negative things, alcohol, drugs, graphy. Some are addicted to even their external family. They can't let go of them. So if I say yes to somebody, be careful of the addiction of the person. 
because if the person is addicted to something he or she cannot let go of that will be one of the major problems in your marriage number five which is the last i'm going to share today and I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm still going to continue is never you try to marry a mommy's boy <laughs> a mommy's boy a daddy's boy every small thing my daddy say every small thing my mommy say and that's what that and that's what tell you that person is immature if somebody still say my daddy say my daddy say my mommy say my mommy say or my family say that person is not fit to marry that person is not fit to settle down mind you it might be a man it might be a woman it might be a lady it might be a guy so it's not it's not particular to somebody it's not it's not it's not it's, not, it's, it's all gender i've seen especially guys they can't do without their mom what their mom says is what is the final that person is not fit to settle down that person is not fit to be in a, in a relationship and if you accept such guy or accept such woman because it's male and female for sure your marriage is heading for the road now let me also beg you once again our youtube channel are there please subscribe help us share uh, like I always tell people, I should not be saying it. I'm only saying it. Uh, if on the world, we, what we are saying is not making sense, they always say in every nonsense there is sense. So pick the, remove the nonsense, pick the one that is that making sense, and use it to share our videos to people that will listen to them. Don't forget, there's a program coming uh, forth in this month, June 26. For those who want to settle down. Those who are confused about who to pick for their marriage, those who are confused about who to settle down with, who, those who are confused who to uh, um, accept their proposal or give proposal to. So either way, that book is for you. That program is for you on June 26. If you are interested, just chat me up or send a text message to my numbers. Uh, you see them on Facebook platform. Um, help us also. Uh, Facebook page is there. On chat, chat with us, all the numbers you see on Facebook, they are on WhatsApp. Chat us up, and I'm sure we'll respond to you. So, don't forget also on Sunday, we have what we call Hangout. It's not a church service, it has been on before uh, COVID 19 started. It's just a program just for us to express ourselves. So, till then.